Hi, this is Megan and Zoe, and in this video we are going to be talking a little bit about Cat's experiences, projects, and reflections, and kind of our experiences with this. One of the biggest tips when trying to figure out what cast experiences you would like to record, a big thing is to not complicate it. Most of the time, you do not have to go out of your way to make cast experiences. You probably do a lot of things that could count as one in your everyday lives, whether that is cooking, exercising, or just learning a small new skill. Almost anything that you do outside of school can be counted as a cast experience. For an example of a creativity experience, we wanted to use Megan's experience of learning animation. This is because on top of it being artistically demanding, creativity is about learning new skills. Megan had not initially known how to do an animation, and as you can see from this video and as we talk later about our cast, ex our cast project, it is a really important skill that she eventually got really good at, and it shows a lot of self-growth. Another example of learning a new skill and using it as a creativity experience is my experience as working as a barista. It was my first ever job and I had to learn a lot of new skills. Um, one of the biggest things as we get to reflecting is I talk about my experience with trying to learn latte art. And so because this is a long-term experience, uh, you will see a lot of growth within specifically my latte art when I reflect on it. For the activity experience, I decided to choose my experience of going to tennis tryouts. Obviously, this is an activity experience as tennis is a sport and it requires athletic capabilities and exertion. And on top of this, we also wanted to show you what a short-term cast experience will look like. So as you can see here, tennis tryouts were only for three days. And finally, for the service experience, we decided to show you Megan's experience of tutoring classmates. This is obviously a service experience because it is her helping other students. In addition, having a good balance of websites, files, pictures, and written reflections will really show your engagement in your CAS experiences. For general reflections, ensure that you are answering all of the required questions in order to create a successful reflection. In addition, for long-term experiences, make sure that you are reflecting consistently in order to show personal growth. Another way to reflect and show personal growth is through photos. As I said before when I was talking about working as a barista, I wanted to learn how to do latte art, so I decided to take picture reflections in order to show my growth as time moves on. Obviously, you can see a huge difference in my latte art at, within a span of about three months. One thing to make sure of when you're doing cast is to check on your timeline every now and then. Display it at the bottom of the cast tab. You can look at this and check for any gaps that you may have in your timeline. In IB, we like to avoid creating gaps in these timelines as we want to display that we are keeping up with our cast experiences and are constantly reflecting on our choices and actions. Hint. One way to avoid this is to complete longer, more meaningful and detailed experiences, such as learning how to play an instrument for a month, rather than completing smaller tasks in order to minimize the gaps in your timeline. Now we're going to start talking about what we did for our CAS project. For our CAS project, we created an awareness YouTube video to educate the public regarding topics concerning mental health, specifically during Mental Health Awareness Month. In addition, we also created a website for mental health check-ins called Ghost Friends. Here's the timeline of our CAS project. For week one, we focused on the script and research of our YouTube video. In week two, we focused on making animations for the video and character design. For week three, we designed and published the website. And week four, we recorded the audios, edited, and finalized our video to post onto YouTube. 
I hope this video helped you better understand IB's expectations with CAS experiences, reflections, and the project. If you would like to see exactly what Megan and I did for our CAS project, scan the code below and it will take you to a link tree that will send you direct links to our website, Ghost Friends, and our mental health awareness video. Have a great day. Thank you.